Hello everyone, welcome to the Comic Air Movie Show. My name is Deshaun and today I'm here to talk about a topic that has always been on my mind for quite a bit, like most of the topics that are on my mind, and that is what people mean when they say Marvel movies are all the same. Now, I, if you're like me and you've been on comment section and you've been on Reddit and you've been in all these forums of whatnot and you've seen all these different YouTubers and people of, um, you know, entertainers and people in general in the nerddom, you have people say this phrase all the time about particularly the MCU is that all Marvel movies are the same. And when they say it, they always say it with the, um, either A, there are people who I know generally like Marvel movies and they say it with like a, well, they're not exactly the same, but they got this that is very similar to all the Marvel movies. And then you got people who say it where they generally believe they're all the same. And they never explain why they're all the same. They just say Marvel movies are all the same. And they kind of give a head nod as if you understand what I'm talking about. And I wanted to like, give my personal opinion on that statement. And my personal opinion on what people really mean when they say that. Because I'm sure all of you guys following me have heard that phrase before. And... The, to me, my interpretation when someone says all Marvel movies are the same is that they're all PG-13. That's what they really mean by all Marvel movies are the same is that they're all PG-13. And I know what you're thinking. Like, that's a huge spectrum to really be judging something to be all the same. Like, I have seen many PG-13 movies and it's really hard to like, like, if you watch Avatar, you know, the blue Avatar, and you then you go watch, I don't know, remember the Titans, those are totally different movies, but they're both PG-13, you know what I mean? But like, so like, that the spectrum is very vast, but like, people kind of focus in on Marvel, because Marvel makes superhero movies, and all of their superhero movies are PG-13, but... Oh, I thought I was I thought I was hearing something. But it, but but like I said, what people really mean when they say all Marvel movies are the same is that they're not these hard R rated movies. And for example, whenever you hear someone say this and then someone asks them what kind of Marvel movie would you make or what kind of Marvel movie should they make, they always go for the most hardcore R rated sex filled loop de loo insane idea and they're like I would go for that but the thing that always aggravates me about that is that that statement is is just not true it's not true anybody with a brain knows they're not true and if you comment below and say it is true then you obviously don't have a brain no one ever looks at Winter Soldier and says that looks like Guardians of the Galaxy I've never met anyone who watched Iron the first Iron Man and said damn Thor Ragnarok, it reminds me of Thor Ragnarok. Hell, I've never watched anyone who watched the first Guardians and said, hey, that reminds me of Black Panther. To that degree, Marvel so, and to that degree, the first Captain America, color palette, score, the, 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 even, like, everything about that movie, even to, to the characters in it, there's only three returning characters from the, four, if you count Zola, from the original movie. It's a totally different movie. You watch first Captain America and you watch this, they're almost two different completely movies. They look different. They seem different. The color palette is different. The poses are different. It looks different. Hell, if you watch um, the first Iron Man and watch Iron Man 3, it's a sh It's totally different tones too. Iron Man 1 is a different movie than Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3 is a Shane Black film. Right down to the Christmas. Right down to the dialogue. Right down to the way it's shot. If you watch Iron Man 3 and then go watch Lethal Weapon, you will notice exact shots from these movies being similar just like Thor the first Thor the first if I showed you the La Thor Ragnarok if I showed you Thor Ragnarok I showed you that first Thor you would think that those were two totally different characters you think those were two totally different worlds the color palette the way it looks Asgard doesn't even look the same Thor isn't the same, he's got short hair, all these characters, like, even if, if I showed you the poster, if I just put you the poster of Thor 1 with Thor holding his hammer in the middle with the dark in the background and Thor and red lighting, and then I'll show you the poster of Thor Ragnarok with the fucking colors, and you wouldn't even think it was the same goddamn franchise, that's why I've always kind of bucked back against that phrase, I hate when I hear people say that, all Marvel movies are the same, because they're not being honest, they're not saying all Marvel movies are the same, and the thing is, are, are the same, because if they were being honest, then they would have to point, obviously point out the fact that Warner Brothers' most successful movies, and Shazam, Aquaman, and Wonder Woman, 
are basically Marvel movies in their structure, in the way they work, in the humor that they have, the color, the colorfulness, the CGI, the okay to bad, vi the okay to not very good villains, the big, big epic CGI battle at the end of their movies. They are Marvel movies in structure, in structure, the way they're built, the way they're made, the way they look. All three, Shazam, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman are Marvel movies. And the thing is, nobody, other than Shaz other than Aquaman, which I think people acknowledge, really look like a Marvel movie, like an early two, like the, like the early phase one slash early phase two Marvel movies. Like it really looked like Marvel movies. And people really don't acknowledge that other than, like I said, with Aquaman, because it really kind of blows up their notion that all Marvel movies are the same. Because I'm like, no, people are making movies like Marvel. It's just they're not Marvel, so you don't acknowledge that point. Which is why I say it's kind of a bullshit statement to say that all Marvel movies are the same, when literally the two mo the, the most successful movies DC has produced in the last few years, outside of The Joker, are all Marvel movies dressed up like? Are all Marvel movies that that, that are dressed up that kind of that happen to be DC movies? Oh, I keep thinking I'm hearing something. Damn, sorry guys, sorry guys, <laughs> sorry for my pauses. But but other than that, but other than that too, when you ask these people, like I said, they always come with the most morose, most like the Joker, like. And, and like, those are the examples of movies they give you when they go Marvel movies are all the same. They go Joker, Logan, and Deadpool, which I've always pushed back against the notion of Joker, Logan, and Deadpool. I loved two of those movies, and I thought that the Joker was okay to good. But the thing is, I, I would argue, and I've still argued to this day, if you think that if Joaquin Phoenix's Joker wasn't good, like if, if people love Joaquin Phoenix's Joker, if Joaquin Phoenix's Joker was beloved, that they would have ever made, oh no, not Joaquin Phoenix, my bad, oh, <laughs> my bad, oh, I'm, I'm saying the wrong actor, damn it, who was it, who was it, Jared Leto, if Jared Leto's Joker was great in Suicide Squad, do you think they would have been making a Joaquin Phoenix Joker, no they would have not, if the X-Men franchise was doing full, was actually working, full cylinder, there was no pushback, there was no confusion, there was all the Brian Singer things going on, with Brian Singer being accused of all these different things, if you don't think that all of those things, the fact that the X-Men franchise was sucking with Apocalypse and going nowhere real fast, it was about to be bought, and, and, and all the stone noise with Brian Sanger was making chaos, so everything was going down the shitter. If you don't think those things actually help those movies be created, you have another thing coming. The truth is, the only reason that movies like Joker, Logan, and Deadpool exist isn't because the studio took some creative risk. It's because the studio tried to be Marvel and failed, tried to be the MCU and failed, which led them to have no choice but to make the movies that they made. That is just the truth. That is why Venom even exists, is because they want to be Marvel. That is why all the, that's that's why Variant is trying to do something, is trying to make movies because they want to be Marvel. Like everybody wants the piece of that Marvel pie. It's just a matter of the facts. And like, and I'm so sick and tired of hearing people act as if these studios, act as if like, like, these studios are so much better than the Marvel because they're allowed to make rated R movies. That's about it. Like, they're better. When the actuality, Marvel is being punished by some people. The MCU is being punished for being successful. And when you're successful, all you can go is down. And, I, and I, I've talked about this before in my videos that I do feel like personally that something happened in the last three years where Marvel was raising up and they were like this speeding bullet on the way to Endgame slash Infinity War and DC was struggling and Fox was about to, was struggling bad about to get bought and and even though they pumped out movies like Logan and Deadpool they still pumped out movies like they are still pumping out Dark Phoenix that looked like it was going to be terrible it was in chaos they were losing money hand over fist and it was like they just had to be bought and people start hating on Disney and that's that that's when it started i believe when the real Hatred towards Marvel started. Well, not hatred, like dislike towards Marvel started. It was about when Disney bought Fox. When Disney bought Fox, that's when people started to go, well, we have to attack Disney, That which means we have to attack their golden goose, which is Marvel. And then that's when people started, to, that's when the, 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 the words of, oh, this is all the same, oh they're, they're, oh, they're hurting the industry, all these other things started to pop up was around that time because if you're going to take shots at Disney, you have to take shots at Disney's Golden Goose, 
which is Marvel. And there's this funny thing going around where, like, uh, there's this um, Nas song that I listen to all the time called Hate Me Now. You guys have probably heard the song, Hate Me Now. And every time I hear it, I just think of, like, I'm like, this is what Marvel must really think about. Like, we rose all the way up here, and now you're hating on us. Like, Marvel is being punished for actually executing their plan successfully. And the thing is, all of these people saying all the Marvel movies are the same. All of these people who want Marvel to do what DC is doing, want, the, want Marvel to do what, what the Fox was previously doing, which couldn't have been doing it so great if they got bought, but I digress. All these people who want them to do that are kind of hypocrites because they want them to do that because what they're doing is the same. But the thing about it is, no one else is doing what they're doing better than how they're doing it. No one else has a cinematic universe. No one else has an interconnected cinematic universe working the way they're doing it. So why would you want them to stop doing what they're doing to do something someone else is doing? That's the confusing part, and that's the conundrum that I have a problem with people who say things like that, is that I'm like, wait a minute. So you want them to stop doing the thing that they're doing better than anyone else that no one else is doing. The most unique thing about them the thing, their calling card, the thing that gives them the most unique, unique, you know, unique, the thing that makes them unique, the thing that makes them different than every other studio and every other comic book movie is their interconnectivity and the fact that they work, they work together to tell one, one story. You want them to get rid of that to go back to telling individual stories just like DC and other companies are trying to do. Because they're so on top that you have to, that you would rather see that. And the thing is, most of these people don't. Really, most of these people, it's t it's not really coming from a place. It's coming from a place of bias because they have could because they know the MCU is going to be the most talked about thing. So they would rather the MCU be most talked about for doing movies that they like rather than doing movies that the MCU wants to do. And that's how it always works. When pe whenever someone says and you hear it. All Marvel movies are the same. What they really mean is that they're PG-13, is that they're doing their own, is that they're doing what they do best, is that they're continuing to make make these movies that are telling one continuous story, and that they and, and that they wish Marvel would make a movie for them. They wish Marvel would make a, a small independent movie about about Bruce Banner sitting doing drugs in the corner of a room, well, scared to turn into the Hulk because his boner might explode in his pants. That's what they really mean. They want they, they really want Marvel to go make this smoldering independent movie that this smoldering independent movie that like five guys named Greg saw. That's what they really mean when they say all Marvel movies are the same. So thank you guys for joining the Comic Game Movie Show. Please remember to like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.